Hello everyone, this is Ramesh from Informatica. This video is about to show you how to connect to MQ through Power Center. The agenda for the video is to show you a quick demo on how to work with MQ sources. What are the environment variables that are on, uh, specific to MQ and we need, need to set it before we can connect to MQ from Informatica machine. Um, how do we validate the MQ connectivity uh, using some command line options. Uh, these options you can use it to test the connectivity even outside of power center and then run the MQ session and we'll try to read a few records from the MQ source. Okay, so the prerequisite uh, uh, information that we need to have handy are uh, we need to have know what is the MQ server host name and the port number which we would be connecting from Informatica. This information you can check with your uh, MQ admin and he should know. And uh, you can you also need to know what is the queue manager and queue manager name and the queue name because this information will be used to create the connections in Informatica, uh, which the which you'll use in the session. So this information also either uh, you, uh, you can check with the application team or you can check with your MQ admin as well. Uh, very important thing we need to make sure that the MQ client is installed on each Informatica box. This is something like if I want to connect an Oracle database, I need to first uh, install Oracle client on Informatica servers to ensure that I'm at least first able to connect uh, to um, Oracle database. So similar to that, we need to ensure that we have MQ client installed on each Informatica server. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the environment configuration and then demo. So this is uh, Informatica box. Um, I have MQ installed on this server. So let me let me show you the location where the MQ is installed. MQM. Okay. So this is the Linux box. So when you when you install MQ client, you will see all these libraries binaries under that install location or install home directory. So um, there are only few environment variables that is required uh, let me first talk about that so uh, first of all uh, we need to set the path environment variable and make sure that the binaries for the MQ is included in the path okay second thing uh, we need to uh, make sure that we add the library the libraries for the MQ is added to the LD library path so MQ so 64 mq slash 64 and then under that mq home mqm home right you have java slash 64 similarly you have uh, java slash lib and mq slash lib so i included both 32 bit and 64 bit libraries in my early library path and then there is an environment variable called mq server this needs to be set and the syntax to set this is like mq server equals to uh, this is the Q manager name. In my case, it's Q1, so I put as Q1, but the syntax is Q manager name slash TCP slash single quote host name. Here, the host name is your MQ server host name, and the port number, uh, the port on which MQ service is running on a MQ server. So here, the default is 1414, uh, but then it might uh, it might be different for different scenarios, uh, different implementations. So better you should check with your uh, um, MQ admin for the actual host name and the port number and then close by a single quote. Okay, so I already have said this uh, in my environment, so let me show you. So in the path here, I have slash opt mqm included in the mqm slash bin included in the path. Similarly, echo dollar ld library path. So here I have mqms opt mqm slash 64 lib 64 from there till all the way till here the the ld library path is pointing to all the necessary libraries okay and last thing was to set mq server variable so here mq server is pointing to q1 slash tcp slash hostname and the port number q1 is the q manager name okay so once we set these variables environment variables there is a command line using which we can do a test run if we, I'm able to connect to MQ or not so if you go to bin directory then here 
look for something called MQ. Get C. Sorry. LS minus L star get. Okay. So there is a command called AMQS get C. Uh, using this command, you can get the messages under any given queue. So let's say if I run here, AM get C q1 so this will try to get give me the messages that is there in the q1 queue so if it is not able to establish the connection it will throw some error code and we can look for that error code what does that mean uh, but if it is able to establish the connection it will say something uh, start and if there are some messages in the queue it will display those messages and it will and if not then it will say no more messages and then it will just end it but then either case whether it displays some messages or not but if it is able to connect the uh, establish the connectivity you'll see the messages like sample uh, amqs get zero start and then end and then if there are messages you'll see here messages if no messages you'll just see no more messages but this at least validates that you are able to connect to q1 from this client machine right so using this amqs get c you can validate whether uh, you are able to connect to a given q uh, outside of power center right so this is the first thing that we should check it before we go ahead and create informatica session and try to run from there because if this works most likely even the thing from the power center will work uh, but if not so this is the very first thing that we need to fix and maybe you would like to work with your mq admin team to make sure that this piece works even outside of power center okay so now let's see uh, talk about uh, let me show you how do we import mq source how do we create and then um, let me show you a quick demo here okay so this is this is a mapping mq mapping uh, source is mq mq series and target is a flat file uh, very straightforward mapping uh, let me show you how do we import uh, mq source so we go we select the source tab go to say create uh, under the database type there are various type of database right look for MQ series give a name let's say src underscore demo say create so it will create a source of type MQ okay now the number of columns for this source are fixed the name of each of them are fixed so the structure of uh, mq source is pretty much fixed you can't change anything however we can change the data type and the precision okay so this is how you can create mq source so let's go back to our mapping and um, let me run this mapping and see what's happening here Uh, before that actually I should have sh shown it how do we create a queue connection so you go to queue uh, connection type select queue and then here say new say ok and then here we give any name to the connection and then here all we have to mention is what is your queue manager name and what is the queue name from where uh, we want to read data from right so these are the two uh, parameter that we need to check with our admin team mq admin team and once you have that you mention specify here and you are all set to create done with mq connection so let me show you here what is the queue connection information in my case so here uh, i said queue manager is q1 and then queue name is also q1 coincidentally i have all both queue name manager and queue name same but it can be uh, any name uh, so since i already started this workflow let me sh see what's happening here okay so this succeeded without any row right let me rerun it and uh, one more thing so when you when the connection is a type of queue right and then you just run it'll just go see whatever information or whatever record is there in the queue and it's just complete right but if you want to uh, set it for like a real time, let it run for uh, Q1 
keep listening out for uh, any messages and uh, as and when the message comes in the source you want to push it to the target we can do so by adding some filter here so let's see what are the filters that we need to add it here so all you need to set is this idle time equal to minus one and plus latency we can set it to let's say one so this will enable the session to run in real time so let me save it and rerun the workflow okay so now it's running let me try and push some messages put some messages in the queue so let's say test one right and say test two say test three close it let's see okay it read one messages okay so it read three messages okay so um, that's pretty much I wanted to show you in this video um, so what to, uh, to summarize what we see here is um, how do we import MQ series source in the mapping create the source we talked about what are the environment variables that need to be set before we can connect to MQ uh, we talked about how do we even validate the connectivity uh, outside of power center using the command line options and then we saw um, uh, we, we, we saw reading few records from MQ source and we could see that the message is actually getting read from that source so that was pretty, pretty much uh, I wanted to cover in this video I hope you liked the video um, if you have any feedback uh, we would love to hear from you please send your feedback at support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash info support thank you